Warning, you're about to watch a tearless video created by a man with no regard for decency. And, well, most likely eats raw eggs. Viewer discretion is advised. What it is, everybody, welcome back to another tier list video. Yes, the one you've all been waiting for, the one that made me famous on YouTube. Yes, I am back at you with again with another tier list video. Now, today I'm doing something very important, something the Binding of Isaac community is not ready for. I am rating every single boss, 122 of them, by the way, based on how I think they would taste. Here we go. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. All right, the first one we have here is Baby Plum. Now, let's just think about the name right now. Baby Plum. Which one sounds the most appetizing to you? That's right, Baby. Now, babies, they do taste very good, but look at him. Look, he's just so cheerful. Do you really want to eat this thing? Let's be honest. No, you don't. But we don't care about that. We care about the taste. And what do you think this guy tastes like? He probably tastes very sweet, very succulent. So I'm just going to put him on the second tier. Sure, he's very good tasting, but he's not the fucking, mm, you know, the cream de la cream mm, kind of taste. You no, know? the thing that you're looking for. All right, that's why I put him on the second tier. Next one. Big Fuck. What's his name? What the fuck is this guy's name? Uh, uh Big Horn. That's right. <laughs> Big Horn. Now, he looks like he would not taste great. He looks overcooked, like an overcooked piece of steak that's been burnt like crazy. Yes, it's been burnt. Yes, it's been thrown in dirt. So I don't think he would taste very good. But he might have some redeeming qualities inside of him. So I'm going to put him on this second to last tier. And if you disagree with me, you're fucking wrong, all right? You, I hate you, and I hope you eat eat shit. No, I don't. Actually, I don't hope. I don't hope you eat shit. I'm sorry. I did not mean to say that. Anyways, so the third guy, Blast Assist. Now, if you look at Blast Assist, he looks like he's encased in Jello. If you're eating the Jello, it should be fine. But once you get to the center, it's just a fucking fetus. Now, I don't know if you know this, but fetuses do not taste good. Jello tastes good. Fetuses not good. So if we're ranking him just on the overall taste, I think he should go right here. Because the majority of it is good jello, but the middle part is not is, is just, it's just not good. We can all agree on this. I'm pretty certain. I'm fairly certain we can all agree on this. Alright. Next one. Blast assist. If we look at them, one the first one, the big fuck right here. Blast assist one, I guess we could call it. He is just like a red body with a skull, I guess. I don't really know what this is. And then we have a ghost. You cannot eat ghosts. I've tried. This is something I've actually tried in real life. You cannot do it. It's just like chomping air. So we're going to focus on the big guy right here. He cannot taste good. He looks like a fucking human. Am I right? I guess not really a human. He looks like a, a being that does not taste good. So I'm going to be honest with you right now. We're going to put him in the last tier. All right. And we got next Blue Bobby, also known as Blue Baby, also known as Triple Question Mark. This is the dead child. Do you really want me to rate this? This is a dead child. There's no way it tastes good. Are you insane right now? There's no way. Hell no. Fuck no. There's no way. Next motherfuck we have right here is Brownie. Now, despite the name, he does not taste like a brownie. This is a literal shit-covered shit. He is... Your diarrhea. Look at this. He has like, a little dude coming out of him. He's like, yeah, he's shitting himself. And there's no way. I mean, the corn might be a little bit of a thing right there, right? It's, it's still edible corn. But still, he tastes like poo-poo. So we're going to put him here just because of the fact that he has corn. Okay? Next one. We got Bumbino. He looks like a roided out cow. Am I wrong to say this? I am not. So, there's no way he tastes that good. Because I don't know if you know this, but really tough meat does never taste good. That's why you never see people eat lions, all right? I'm fairly certain of this. Do not fact check me ever. So we're going to put him on the this one right here because he's still edible, but he's not going to taste very good. Okay. Next one we got up is Chubb. No, sorry. That is Chad. <laughs> I'm looking too far ahead. Chad, look, all right. He's very plump, but I don't know what the hell he would taste like. Something inside of me tells me that he would taste like one of those blood pudding things you know what i'm talking about the blood from the pigs they make out of pudding in like the uk it's something that tells me that he would taste exactly like that and i don't know about you 
but I've never tried that. But I do want to, so I'm gonna put them on the middle tier. Till I'm gonna put them on the middle tier here. Okay, you know it's an all right taste, right? He's, he's an okay taste. Next one we got up is Carrion Queen. Okay, so this guy looks she sorry sorry she looks like she's made out of just straight up bone with a little bit of meat on the end. I don't know about that. I don't like eating bone. So I'm going to put her on the... Eh, I mean, there might be some taste in that bone. Maybe you can use it for a broth. Something really nice like that. So we're going to put her on this tier right here, next to Blast Assist. There's some redeeming qualities about her that might be good, but you never know. All right. We got... Wait, what the hell is this character's name? I don't go to Mother very often. What? What is this fucking thing's name? Hang on, give me one second. I'm going to find out this thing's name. Okay, its name is Chimera. <laughs> I fucking fucking... I forgot its name is Chimera, all right? Sorry, screw me. Uh, sorry, sue me for forgetting exactly what this thing is. There's 122 trillion bosses in this game. Oh, well. Anyways, uh, knowing that its name is Chimera, I'd imagine it's a combination between what looks to be the gate and Gertie Jr.? Um... The gate is like overcooked chicken, and Gertie Jr. looks to be, like, not even cooked all the way through. So, I'm gonna be honest and put her, or it, I guess, right here. Next to everything else that might be good, but I I don't think it's actually gonna be that good. Next character is Chubb! Chubbingo! How's it going, man? Or we're gonna eat ya. Sorry to say it. Um, I don't know how to actually think about eating chub here because it might be really really bad but like it's like a kind of a worm type of deal i don't know if you've ever watched how to eat fried worms but if you fry them up you put them in some like fucking glaze thing maybe put some butter in there he might taste really good so he might be a little like a, a sleeper build you know he might taste really really good if you season them right so we're gonna put him next to chad all right we got god damn it what is this stupid thing's name why can't I remember these stupid, like, it's like Flush or Flart? Paul Blart? What is this thing's name? All right, this stupid thing's name is Clog. I mean, are you really wanting me to, like, <laughs> rate this thing anything higher than the green tier? Its name, it's, it's a poop. It's, it looks like petrified poop. There's no way you're going to eat poop. I'm putting him down here. He tastes like poo poo. And we got Singe. Oh, that's not Singe. What is this? This thing's name is Clutch. Holy mother of Joseph. Okay, so Clutch is bones, but the actual boss is a weird soul-looking thing. Like I said before, you can't eat ghosts. He's not going to taste like anything. So if we're going to do anything about the taste, we're going to look at the bones he comes from. It's bones. They're not marinated. There's probably no good bone marrow in there to marinate anything with. You can't do anything with it. He's going to taste like bones. Bones don't taste good. They don't taste like fucking anything. Okay? We're putting him down here. That's where he's staying. Next up, we have Colostoma. Do I... I mean, just... Like, hello? It, go, it goes here. It, it's bad. It's poo-poo bag. It is poo-poo bag. It's not good. It does nothing. Next up, we have... What, what is this? This is nothing. This is literally... What happened to my tier list? Why is... What? What is this? S tier. Air. Air is S tier. Okay. Next up, we have Conquest. Now, this just looks like a dead body riding what looks to be a toy horse. I'm going to be honest with you. There's probably no redeeming qualities about this. There's no taste to it. He's probably going to taste like a fucking zombie. And I have I don't have taste for zombie flesh. We're going down here. F tier. Bye-bye. <laughs> Next up, we have Daddy Longlegs. Spider. He's a spider. That's what he is. Specifically, well, Daddy Longlegs, as his name says. There's no way in God's green earth he tastes good but he, if you do something with him maybe like like put him on eggs or something he might taste good i don't know so he's going on the green tier maybe put like some hot sauce on him maybe i don't really know probably not a good idea next up we have dangle dingle or dangle dingle is the other one dangle look he's a corn fuck all right look who cares the names why does anybody care about the names we're gonna we're just gonna look at him objectively and think of what he tastes like. This is literal poop with corn in it. I'm probably gonna put him on the brownie tier. Where brownie is right here. I am definitely I'm putting him there. Only because of the corn. You can pick out the corn and eat it. Just don't just just forget about the taste, alright? You could don't who cares about the poop taste? 
We're looking at we're just looking at the corn. Don't think about it. Next up, we have Dark Esau. I know you're like, what the fuck do you mean, Dark Esau? What do you mean? What is he doing here? Look, okay, I was on the Taboy fan wiki, and they list him as a mini boss. Yes, mini bosses are also in this. So I'm going to count him. He uh, he's just a fucking vengeful spirit. You can't eat that. That's literally impossible. So he's going on the F tier. He tastes like what? Fire and brimstone? Ew! Next up, the Dark One. What even is this thing? He looks like charcoal. He probably tastes like charcoal too. There's no way he tastes good. You cannot convince me. It will not happen. Ugh. Next up, Death. I don't know if you ever smelled death in general, like whenever something was on the highway or on the some sort of road where something is dead and it's emanating a smell, it does not smell good. So I can only imagine this is what death tastes like. Even though he's riding his horse like a surfboard for whatever reason, he, there is no way that he tastes anything the way he looks. All right, he's going on the F tier. He's probably tastes actually worse than any of the other people here. So that's where he goes. Next up, we have Delirium. What even, like, this is a concept. Delirium is a concept, right? I don't even know, what, what does a concept taste like? Can it taste like anything you want? If so, then I want it to taste like a marshmallow. Because that's what it, that's, that's what he looks like. He looks like. His mouth looks like a marshmallow pool. Not like a pool of water, but like a P-U-L-L. -L. When you pull a marshmallow that's melted, you know what I'm talking about? It looks like a little gooeyness. He looks like a gooey marshmallow. I'm ranking him S tier. There's nothing you can do about it. Nothing! All right, next up is Dingle. No conversation needed. He's going here. He's go. He's going right there. No conversation needed. All right, Dogma. Dogma is next. This is literally TV static. You know what I think about TV static when it comes to taste? I think of carbonated drinks. Just like a straight up water and CO2. And by God, do I like a carbonated drink with just water and CO2. I, I drink liquid death. I do. This is true. This is not a joke. I actually really, really enjoy it. So I'm going to put him right here. It's enjoyable, but not something I want to go out and just drink all the time. Okay, Envy is next. Whenever I look at Envy, I think of Play-Doh. I'm going to be honest with you. And, um, well, if I smell Play-Doh, it does not smell too good. So I can only imagine it does not taste very good either. But it's still kind of edible. I'm fairly certain Play-Doh is edible. Because children put whatever the fuck they want in their mouth. So they just... They, they have to make it edible. Or else they'll just be a drove of dead kids. They don't want that. So I mean, it has to be somewhat edible. So I'm going to put it here. In the... Eh, okay. It's whatever tier. Alright. Now we have Fallen Uriel. This looks like a burnt chicken. Burnt foods do not taste good. But they're not necessarily inedible. Sometimes I like a little bit of burnt on my food. Just give it like that slight taste. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to put him right here. In front of... In front of everything, honestly. Like... Yeah, that's a good spot. That's a good spot. I'm not going to elaborate further because I don't need to. I don't need to justify... I don't need to justify myself to you fuckers. Next up, famine. It's in his name. Alright. Famine. No food. There's no way he tastes good. It's part, it's part, there's no way that's meat, right? On his, on his skeleton. There has to be some sort of, like, facade. <clears throat> he's gonna trick you into actually thinking he's tasty. And he's not. He's gonna taste like fucking dust. So he's going down here. In front of Conquest? No, and behind Conquest. He's just dust. There's no way he tastes good. Next up, Fistula. I, do not look that word up. It is disgusting. It is not for this world. And you are banished! All right, next up, we have Gabriel. Normal Gabriel, not Fallen. Perfectly cooked chicken with some red glaze. Maybe even a hot sauce. He might taste really good. You know, he's going to go here. You know, you know what? No, right there. Third tier. He might taste like a really okay seasoned chicken. Maybe a little too dry with some hot sauce to save it. Here we go. It's good. I think it's a good tier. We have Gemini up next. I mean, look at that little heart. It's made with love. That's what this means. He is made with love. They love each other. We're all for it. Now, Gemini itself, this is literally like a conjoined twin situation where, like, they couldn't really... I don't even know. Is that... Are they bound by the... 
placenta? What, what is that? What is this? What is this thing here? Umbilical cord. That's what that is. They're joined by the umbilical cord, not by the placenta. Holy mother of Joseph. Uh, I don't want to eat that personally, but uh, we're just going to base this on taste, not by personal opinion, whether or not I want to eat this. So it might taste... Oh shit, should I even say this? <laughs> Am I going to be incriminating myself? Look, we're going to put him right here. There's no way it tastes better than a cooked spider. Okay, right? But like, it might taste eh enough. I would never taste it again. There's just no way. It's going to stay there. I'm not going to... Just, just no, just no. All right, next up we have Gish. Now, whenever I think of Gish, I think of, well, the first two things. Gish, the drop, where it slows everything, and Ball of Tar. Now, that second one is exactly what I think Gish would taste like. He most definitely just tastes like tar. So, like, there's that tar is not edible. I don't know if you know this. Tar is not edible. But I feel like it's more edible than, like, a spirit. So, he's putting it, I'm, I'm putting him there. He's better than Dark Esau and everything under him. Next up, we have Gluttony. Now, Gluttony is an interesting case. Sure, it's a humanoid-looking weird thing, but he has a lot of fat on him, which might make him taste kind of good. So, I mean, yeah, maybe? Yeah, maybe? I don't know. Next up, we have Great Gideon. This is stone. He's literally just made out of fucking stone. You can't eat stone, dude. You're gonna chip a tooth. He's going down here, right there. Okay. Keeper. No. Greed. Why do I keep getting those two mixed up? Anyways, Greed is a dead guy. This is just a straight up dead person who have hung themselves. Unfortunate, but it's the truth. And he's all about money. There's no way in hell this thing tastes good. He was going down here. Well, no, um, uh, yeah, no, yeah, he's going right next to Blue Baby because they're both fucking dead. They're both dead. Gertie Jr. Right? Gertie Jr.? Yes, Gertie Jr. is up next. This thing is a pile of meat with a face. If you cook it right, it might be good. It might be good. Same thing with Mama Gertie. No, that's not Mama Gertie. Same thing with... what? Who is this? Why have I forgotten this fucking thing's name? Okay, it's just straight up named Gertie. I should have known that. It's like I've never played this goddamn game before in my life. Same tier, but better because there's more meat. And Gurgling Juniors, same thing. But there's less meat. So, I mean, come on. I mean, come on. If you disagree, then you disagree. <laughs> Next up is Headless Horseman. So, when I think of Headless Horseman, I think of a pumpkin guy with a hat. No, I think of a guy with a pumpkin head on a horse. There's no pumpkin on this guy's head. You know? I don't even know what to think of him when it comes to eating him or what, is he, what he would taste like. So I'm going to have to put him in the weird-ass middle tier. Like, I don't know if it would taste good or not. So, we have Hush next. Now, Hush is also kind of a, in a way of like a delirium thing where he's a concept in a way. Isn't this like a dead Isaac boss? Kind of like Blue Baby is. So, um, I'm going to have to put him next to Blue Baby. Maybe a little bit better than Blue Baby because there's more meat on him. I don't really know. And no, I don't have the first phase of Hush here because I fucking forgot about him until right now. <laughs> so we're not going to talk about him. And Isaac himself is next. Okay. I don't want to talk about eating a literal child here. So he's going to go right next to Blue Baby. In the middle. In the middle. He might be better tasting. No. No, I'm not going to say that. Strike that from the record. We're going to put him here. It Lives is next. It Lives is just like a baby version of the heart. I can't remember the lore specifically about it, but it's kind of weird. So it might taste good. It might not. Maybe just get it out of my mouth. We're just going to leave it at that. Krampus, on the other hand, I don't even know. This is like a German folklore. What even is this thing? What would it taste like? I have no idea. So we're, I, I'm just going to expect it to taste like the lump of coal that it drops sometimes. So it's going to go down here. Coal is not a good tasting item. Larry Jr. is up next. Now, Larry Jr. is just a fucking worm. And worms I, worms might taste good. I don't know. I've never tasted a damn worm in my life. So we're going to put him up here. Right there. There we go. 
Beelzebub is next. This is a dead worm or a dead version of Duke of Flies. I don't even know what the fuck it is, but it's a bloated version of something dead. So dead things do not taste good or even smell good for that matter. So we're going to put them down in this tier next to Clog. Okay. Lil Peep. Or just Peep? I don't know. One of those two is up next. And look at that. Look at all that fat he has on him. Mmm. And then I don't even know how he would taste, though. He might taste good. He might taste like shit. Because, you know, he pops his eyes out. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Delicacy, maybe? I don't know. He might. He's going to go right here next to Gluttony everybody else. It's just one of those things. What can I say? Lil Horn is next. I'm gonna. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna put Lil Horn right next to his his daddy right here. Maybe just a little better, cause he looks burnt, right? Am I wrong? And like he drops a hot bomb sometimes. Like no, it's just not a good idea. It's not a good idea, Lil Horn. I'm gonna stand by that fact. Next up is Loki. Loki is one of those uncooked bosses. And if you cook him up though, he might be good. So I'm gonna put him right here. Because I feel like he has the same amount of meat as the Gurglings does. So, yeah, that's where he's going. Okay, and Loki is going the same thing. It's just it's just a split version of Loki. I mean, there's, just kind of, there's no way they don't taste the same. Lust is an interesting one. Lust is odd in the fact that I don't really know what it would taste like. Whenever I think of the color pink, I think of bubblegum. I don't think they're going to taste like bubblegum. I'm going to be honest with you. So, here... It's like, eh, maybe it tastes good, maybe it doesn't. Mama Gertie, on the other hand, I I don't know where to place this. I use the boss portrait instead of the actual boss themselves because I'm just too lazy. But, um, I don't think it's going to go on the same tier as the other Gurglings. So, it, it'll go somewhat near it. I want to place it in front of the Blastocyst because she might taste better than the Blastocyst. So... That's where it's going to go. Mask of Infamy. Okay, so there's two things you have to consider with this boss. The mask part and the heart part. Some people like eating hearts of certain things. And I've never tasted a heart in my life. But it might taste good if you cook it right. I don't know. But the mask part... you I don't know if you try to eat a mask, but... I like plastic and shit. Plastic is not good. So if we consider those two things... I feel like a middle range here is a good enough part... To put him at mega fat fatty so look all right he has a lot of fat which might make him taste really good if you cook him right so uh, i mean if you cook him down if you reduce him into a nice little thing of meat he might taste good would he taste better than this tier right here yes i think so but would he taste better than anything else up on this tier no i think he'll stand right here better than most all right mega ma i don't necessarily know what this thing is in the first place it's just like a weird bloody head with no eyeballs and some sort of magical forehead maybe his third eye is opened i don't know i don't think he's going to taste that good so he's going down on this tier mom's foot is next okay um don't eat your mom's foot straight up just don't not a good idea Monstro 2 is next. For some reason, before Monstro 1. Um, this is a dead version of Monstro, so dead things, like I said before, never taste good. So he's going here. That's just very arbitra arbitrary. That is just very arbitrary by my by my end. So Don't even think about it. Monstro 1 is next. Uh, I don't even know what the fuck to do with Monstro 1 here. He might taste like clay... So, I don't know. I, <laughs> meat? I, I don't know where to put this thing. Uh, next to Mega Maw. It kind of looks like a Mega Maw. Because they're just both heads with a mouth. So, Mother is next. Now, Mother is also a weird-ass concept here. She looks like, like a de deformed puss thing of Mom. So, uh, I don't know. I, I'd imagine she'd be really, really disgusting to taste. So, she's probably like, down, down here right there that sounds about right right there's no way she doesn't taste that good next up is mother's shadow which yes is considered a mini boss i believe so we're going to count it 
Mother's shadow is exactly how it sounds. She is a goddamned shadow. You cannot eat shadows. I tried. It's not possible. She's going next to Dark Esau. Mr. Fred is up next. I don't know why he looks like this. I thought I got rid of his background, but who cares? Mr. Fred is a skinned version of just anything. He just he just has no skin. He is all meat. If you made Mr. Fred into a nice cooked meal, I can imagine they taste good, but he also kind of looks like a weird Harley Quinn baby. So it just kind of puts me off of him. So I'm just going to put him in this tier above everything else. Like, just get it out. Of, just, just stop. Get it out. Like, but still, he might taste good. So, yeah. Pestilence is next. Pestilence, as a concept, cannot taste good. Straight up. So he's going down here. Pin. Pin is just a fucking worm with a face. Worms, I I'd imagine, if prepared perfectly, can taste all right. So we're going to put him up here next to Larry Jr. Envy. Envy, envy, envy is also a concept. I don't know. I, I don't even know. He's gray. He's a weird kind of meat, I guess, if we're taking him literally as he looks. <coughs> so we're going to put him on the okay, I guess, tier. Above Blast Assist. Okay, I'm gonna put I'm gonna rank both of these right here. Ragman and Rag Mega. I don't know if you've heard about this, but there were some scientists that ate really old mummy jerky and they said it was okay. And these two are both practically mummies, so I'm gonna put them in the okay tier. I'm gonna put Rag Mega above Ragman because there's just more of him. Okay. Okay. I hope we're okay with that. We should be okay with that. All right, Reap Creep is next. Now, he looks like a weird version of Daddy Longlegs in the in the sense that he is a spider. So I'm going to put him, I don't know, a little bit under him, I guess. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, Satan is next. All forms of Satan is next, okay? There's no way Satan tastes good. I feel like he'd make himself taste like, like some sort of sulfuric acid type of deal. So he's going down here. He's just going right there, apparently. That's where I just chose to put him. Skolex is some weird bloody version of a worm. I don't really know where to put him. I don't know if that's just a bloody version of worm or if I go meat worm. So we're going to put him in the I don't really know what the fuck to do with him tier. Above Reap Creep. No, sorry. Above Bambino. Yes, that sounds about right. Singe is an interesting one. Because with the name Singe, you think he's overcooked, right? You even see this little flame down here. So... I'm going to put him on the bottom of this tier because he might be able to have some sort of redeeming quality, but nah, I don't know. He, mm, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we have the Siren next. I I don't even know what to do with her. I'm just going to put him, put her right there. <laughs> yeah, put him right, put her right there. Yeah. Sister Vistar is next. Now, they're very plump and round, and I don't know if you've played this video game before, but when they roll around, they are double-cheeked up. So, that means they might be really plump and ready for the pickings. We're gonna put her right there. Yeah! Sloth is up next. Uh, no. There's no way Sloth tastes good. 100% not that good. Steven? I don't even know what Steven would taste like i feel like whenever i think of steven i think of a nice like pudding for some reason i don't know so you'll put him right here i don't i don't really know where to put him okay super envy just like what i say with envy i think of play-doh where do i even put okay so there's just more play-doh we're putting him right above envy if at all possible there we go yes we're putting him right there super gluttony it's just a better gluttony. So, I mean, we have to put him above gluttony. And super greed. Where the fuck did I put greed? Right here. Like I said, a dead guy can never taste good. It's just impossible. Super lust. This is what I'm going to do for every single part of the super versions of these these versions, all right? Super envy also goes above No, that's not envy. Super Super what the hell this was? Super No, yeah, it's no super what the fuck is this thing called? Super something or other is right there above the super whatever the fuck. Super Pestilence. Nope. Super Sloth. Goes above Super Sloth. Super Wrath. Did I even do Wrath yet? No, he's down here. Why? 
Why is Wrath down here? Super Wrath probably tastes like sulfur because of bombs and stuff. So he's going down under Singe, honestly. Because Singe has some redeeming qualities, but I don't think Wrath does. That's why I'm going to put Wrath right here as well. Teratoma is a disease. There's no way you taste good. You're going under Clostoma. So there you go. The adversary. I don't even know what the adversary is supposed to be. He's also going down here. Boom, boom. The Beast. Now, the Beast is supposed to be model after mother. I don't know if you noticed this, but I did after I was trying to do this whole editing thing for all these <laughs> bosses here. But there's a little blouse under him that mom wears as well. I think that's pretty cool. Also, I called the Beast him, but it's obviously a girl because it's supposed to be mother. <clears throat> it's supposed to be modeled after mother. So, if I put mother here, I feel like the Beast should at least go under her. Right? Yeah, that sounds about right. The blow, since I don't respect it at all, is going down here. The cage. Uh, the cage is like a dead version of Mega Fatty, and dead things, like I've already said before, cannot taste good. It's just impossible, my friend. It's impossible. The Fallen is next. Okay, so this is like a weird-looking chicken, but it's burnt. A burnt chicken can have some redeeming qualities on the inside, so you're putting here next to Fallen Gabriel. Or Fallen Uriel. The Forsaken is just bones. It doesn't... I don't know. The bones... Uh, just right there. Why the hell not? The Frail? Same thing. The Gate. Now, this is an interesting one. If we look at the Gate, there's something inside of it. I don't even know what it is. It might be a little thing that's controlling the actual body itself. But under it is some sort of uncooked meat. If we cook that meat, it might be good. So it's going up on this tier, but at the end of it all. It's the the meat tier that might be good tier, apparently. Uh, the, the fucking, the fucking whatever the shit this is called is also going down here because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a ghost. So yeah, same thing with you. Can't remember what your name is. You're a ghost. Stupid. The hollow, also known as the, uh, yeah, no, that's the hollow. I was gonna say Skolux, that's not right. The hollow is a weird looking worm thing. And I've put worms up on this tier, but like this one's like a weird uncooked dead variant. So I'm going to put him there. You know, no, I'm going to put him here. That's, that sounds about right. Hornfell. Uh, where did I even put those two? Have I done even normal? No, I haven't even done him yet. So he's going to go here where Loki is. So. It's not, let's say his name's not even Hornfell, right? No, that, his name is Hornfell. What is this thing called? Okay, its name is Horny Boys. How have I not known that? What the motherfuck? Alright, so Hornfell is going up here before that. If these two come together and make Horny Boys, just based off the damn name, it does not deserve anything better than that. The, the Husk, I believe this his name is, um, Ew. Disgusting. Ew. The Lamb. Ew. Ew. Matriarch. And I guess you go on this tier, somewhere in this tier, right there, just because I feel like it. The Rainmaker, I don't really know what the Rainmaker is. I think he's a ghost. You can't eat ghosts, we all know this for a fact, we all know this. I don't even know what, I think you're the Scourge, right? Hang on. I was right, and his name is the Scourge. Uh, I don't even know what the hell this is supposed to be or what he would taste like. He has green parts, which makes me think that he's dead. So he's going right here next to Pestilence. Uh, this thing, which his name is Who Gives a Shit, is made out of bones, but when you crack it open, there's meat inside. So it kind of reminds me of a lobster, and I really like lobsters, so sue me. Sue me now. Do it. You won't, bitch. The Stain. How about we put him up here? It kind of is in line with the other things, kind of like the gate with the meat and the, the skull on top. So that sounds about right, right? Yeah, why not? Uh, this thing, I don't remember the name of it. Who cares? It's a mask with a weird, like, dry-aged heart. So it might taste good. We're going to put them right there. Triacnid is kind of the same thing as Daddy. Daddy? Is kind of the same thing as Daddy Long Legs. So I'm going to put him on the Daddy Long Legs tier. Wherever the hell I put Daddy Long Legs at. Right, right there. 
Tough Twins is kind of the same thing as this guy right here. So I'm going to put him right there. Sue me! Uh, the poopy boy, long, shitty boy, poopy head is also, like, not good because he poops everywhere and he, no one likes eating poo-poo. So he's going to go in the poo-poo tier. Omega Death is going onto the Omega Death tier. Wherever I put death at... Where did I put death? Let's find out. Where did I put death? Right here. Right here. He's going next to death, but even worse because he's even crazier part of death. What is that? Ultra Death? Yeah. Ultra Famine is going next to Famine, but worse because he's the Ultra version. Greed! Let's see. Ultra Greed. Where did I put Greed? Uh, I cannot remember where I put Greed. Hang on. I put Ultra Greed there, and then there's normal Greed. Okay. He's going down here. As a matter of fact, why did I even put Greed above normal Greed? He's going right there. That's how it should be. Same with Ultra Mega Poopy Greedier Greed. He's going there. He's made out of gold. Who eats gold? Nobody. You can't eat gold. It's impossible. Ultra Pestilence. Like I said, he's meeting his brother. All right, Ultra Pride, aka Edmund and Florian. Um, S tier. Ultra War. Did I even do War yet? No, I did not. Let's do War first. War looks like a bundle of meat, so we're putting him up here. Same with Ultra War, but there's more meat, so he's going there. Uh, Wormwood reminds me of Absinthe, and I like Absinthe, so we're gonna put him. We're gonna put him on this tier. Just because of my certain biases. I know I said I shouldn't do that. But I don't give a fuck. Sue me! Duke of Flies. He is a husk of flies. He's going here. Min Min, go there. Heart is meat. I eat meat heart. I'm Look, I don't know if you know this, but I'm getting tired of doing this. I'm doing this for 37 damn minutes. This is such a stupid tier list. Why did I do this? You. There. Spider. 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 Turds. Literal fucking turds. Burnt chicken. Non-burnt chicken. Where did I put you? Where did I where did I put your brother? Boom. Oh my god, would you look at that? I got every single one. Holy crap, I did it. If you disagreed about anything in this tier list, then I don't blame you. I don't even know why I did this. What the fuck? I just wasted 38 minutes of my life doing this bullshit tier list. I need to do actual tier list. The next tier list that I do is not going to be a fucking meme. Okay? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, um, good job. Uh, uh subscribe, I guess. I'm going to be doing more of these things in a, in a way. And I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.